Here's one for you. If you ever have to change the spring on an early Ford, okay, put the spring on the bench and then you can clamp it with a G-clamp against the bench and squeeze it down enough to get the shackles in. Now, you, this way you can do it on your own. You don't need any, any, uh, any uh, you know, you don't need a spring compressor, fancy tools. But just watch out if you're doing an original one because you need 10 clamps. These are springs that are made of cheese. You know, they're, literally you've only got to move them a couple of mil, five, 10 mil. But um, yeah, so if you do an original spring, there's more power in them. And uh, but there you go, look. You put the spring on the bench, get it set, and you just need to wiggle it in, you know, and have the spring compressed ever so slightly. Boom Shack, the funky lyrics under attack. Thank you, please. I'll update that this morning. This was covered in rust, but I'm thinking it's more uh, California AA sand. Original paint, some original paint, uh, you know, it was rusty. But um, I licked over with them four, I smoked them four angle grinders, maybe five. I smoked them four angle grinders. I give it the wire brushery, and this is what's Hydrate 80, Rust Killer Barrier System. If, if you've got deep set rust, it only really uh, chemically alters the properties of the rust on the surface. If there's rust beneath, it's, it's, this is only treating the surface. But I do want a chassis, you know, why wheel it, lick it over with the isopropyl, and then paint it in this, after you've sanded it, and you can sand this, it almost, it's almost like primer. But I, I think it turns it black, it turns it black, so what's that, phosph zinc phosphate? I don't know. But then you rub it out, and then what I like to use is uh, a bit of two-pack and brushed on with a tiny little brush. You know, the finish, the finish, I can sand this and do it again, you know. I'm going to sand it and do it. Ooh, look at that size of that one. That's nice! <laughs> yeah, but I'll rub it out because, you know, well, I, I paint all the time, so... I've got, yeah, I'll just show you the brush because you must get some of these. Where are they? Have I put them on the fire? Oh, yeah, you must get some of these. They're called uh, Bold Mirror, look. Right? A one and a half inch brush for a pound. Now, I'd sign right with that. I'd, I'd tick it right with that. But, um, they used to be 2 99 for free, an inch and a half, an inch and a half inch. But they're disposable at one pound. For the 2K, you just throw them away. If you buy 30 quid's worth from Jackson Art Supplies, you get free delivery. 2 99 a pack. Uh, what's it, not 15 packs? How many do you need to buy? Come on, you've got to do some. It's late. I've been at it for 10 hours, 12 hours. Something about, uh, yeah, you've got 10 packs, £3 a pack. And yeah, double handy, just for painting grease, touch up, you know. But look at the state of the place. Look at the state of the place. Holy schmoly. But I'm, I'm, you know, I've got a SoCal axle. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 36. I've got, I can't split the wishbone. I don't have to, because I'm using a silly gearbox. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get a 36 bone, run the SoCal axle, unsplit wishbone, because it's got the same perch pin distance. It's got the same perch pin distance. Oh, look, I haven't got a fucking. I haven't got a fucking. Uh, I haven't got a fucking uh, measuring thing. What, 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 are, what are the measuring things all about? Measuring thing. Uh, well, I was just gonna. I was just gonna measure the the perch pin distance. So. You can see with thine own eyeballs what it's all about. But this will this get you look old school, old school hot rodding. Look, everyone used to run a chrome Gabriel shock made in the USA. But look, look, they're rebuildable. You can unscrew this. 
Sweet, you don't need them. You know, you don't need them. You forget that these exist. You see what I'm saying? These probably come off some old hot rod. And the chrome in them is probably 60s, 70s, I don't know. But they're going on. Uh, what am I doing? I'm taking these off. They are a bit short. These are for sale. They were brand new, but you know, so cow shorties. They're coming off in the uh, Gabriella. Gabrielle, uh, what's that um, famous song from Gabrielle? Looking at something, something, and something. With uh, she wish you could look. Uh, yeah, don't you? Don't you mean just because it's late, your brain doesn't function? Yeah, I'm, I'm babbling on. Look at the state of my cab. It's rotten. You know, I've got one eight there, one eight there. There's an eight inch for sale as well. It's in bits. It's in bits. It's a Mustang 2, 57. I don't think the shafts are correct. It's four shafts of it. Uh, yeah, jolly good. That, that's Oko Axel. I don't want it, so uh, I'll just flog that. Thank you, please, bye.